So let's, um, I think the easiest way to do this is gonna be to, um, we're gonna unbolt the fan first. I'm gonna try to do this without taking the hood off. It'd probably be easier if I took the hood off, but uh, the hood's difficult to get off uh, by myself. Uh, so I, I think it's just, it's cumbersome, you know? Um, you got, if you get two people on it, it's not that bad to get on and off, but uh, one person, it's, it's tough. So I'm gonna get in here and just unbolt the fan before I do anything else and get the fan out of here and then um, I think I you know I think it'll fit through here I know the whole thing I don't think it'll fit but I think if I just take the fan off then I can get the water pump so we're gonna see and if it gets too difficult I'll go ahead and unbolt the hood and uh, we'll end up having to uh, you know pull the hood off. I might have to wait for some help to do that, but we'll see. Um, we are going to have to take the belt off, so but I'm going to wait until after I get the uh, fan off to get the belt off. So let me uh, get started. I think I'm gonna have to um, take the hood off and the reason being is the fan will not come off there's a hub right here that um, sticks out and so once you get past that hub it's pretty much pinned against the radiator and then so I was like well maybe I can leave it there and I can get the water pump off get the water pump out without having to pull the fan out well the water pump is not connected with bolts, it's connected with studs. So it's gonna have to come away from the block to get them off of those studs. So the radiator is gonna have to come out of this to uh, get the uh, new water pump in. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the hood off. Um, and you know, while we have the hood off, we can do some other things. I've been wanting to put the uh, um, been wanting to put the wire the lights up so maybe we'll go ahead and do the headlights while we've got the hood off
All right, I got two hood props on it. And uh, we are going to see if we can leave it like this. That makes it a lot easier. Um, like I said, this thing's, it's, it's not so much that it's heavy. It is heavy because it's got fuel in it too. But um, it's more so cumbersome because it's so long. So trying to get it, you almost need a person on each side of it, you know, to lift it in. I put it on by myself. Uh, I drained the fuel out of it and was able to put it on there. But uh, this would be difficult trying to... Uh, I mean, I could drain the fuel back out of it, but uh, no reason to take it off when we just need it up. And I loosened the top radiator hose off and was able to just push the radiator just a little bit. It just mounts at the bottom, and so it'll it'll do this a little bit. It's mounted on some rubber pads, um, so I was able to just push it over and uh, just a little bit and get the fan out. So now that we got the fan out, and we actually got more room to work now. We'll get in there and we will undo the rest of these uh, nuts. I've already un or loosened that uh, radiator hose right there. And we will uh, get this thing out of here. We got this bolt right here to take out as well that attaches to this uh, backing plate on the water pump. So let's get all that off and we'll get this thing out of here. And we'll be real careful with the hood. Like I said, I've got it's supported by this, uh, but I put that on it just to uh, be a secondary. But um, we'll uh, try to be careful with it. It's off. Um, unbolted that bolt. What I did is when I put this, when I made my alternator bracket, I needed something to tie this upper mount in. And uh, stock one mounted off the um, water pump right here. I think it may have tied in somewhere else too, and I didn't like. This didn't seem strong enough, and it had a nut tacked on the back, so I uh, broke the nut off on purpose, of course, or ground off the camera, whatever. I took the nut off, and then made my bracket come up from the mount, and then it ties in to the water pump bracket right here. So that's how I ended up doing that water pump bracket comes over there this is just a piece of scrap comes up this is a uh, I think it was a smog pump uh, adjuster bracket off of Chevy Love and there's bottom mount that spacer was cast so it did not weld well but on there need just a little bit more two washers and just a piece of all thread going through pretty simple but it works so let me go get the um, alternator bracket or I, no, the water pump off the other engine it should be a good one. It was a good one. It wasn't noisy when it was on the other engine, so we're going to run it. Uh, this one, the bearings are toast in it. And let's see what kind of, what we got for gasket here. 
Um, there's no gasket. So I guess they just used some silicone. So I don't know, um, I don't know if we're going to use silicone, if we'll make a gasket. We'll see. All right. So here's our old one. That is junk. Here's the one off the other engine. Looks much better. It's tight. This one's all wobbly. You can see that. This one's got no play in it. So. So, we're going to, I think we're going to use that fan since it's painted and um, I think it's fairly straight. This one's probably straight too, but um, I think uh, I'll have to have the fan off to get it in there anyway. This one's got a bend right here where it's gotten in, I guess at some point, so we'll uh, go ahead and just pop the fan off and uh, switch fans. Uh, this one did have a gasket on it, unfortunately the gasket did not survive. So I've got some gasket material. I think we're going to go ahead and just make a gasket. Like I said, they only had silicone on this one, but uh, I think we'll go ahead and make a gasket. Yeah, the gasket broke out right there when I was doing it, and right there. I should have left, I trimmed it out too small. Uh, should have left more hanging out. But, that'll work. Like I said, it didn't have anything on it to begin with. And, uh, these are studs, not, um, bolts. So it's not like it has to, uh, seal around here. I'm sure those studs are sealed in the block well but uh we're gonna put some uh gasket stuff on here anyway because there is some pitting on the block and uh that'll help seal that up quickly threw some paint on that and the spot the parts that will be showing on it um and now i'm gonna go clean up the block and get it ready for the gasket and the water pump. All right, hood is back on. Uh, yeah, I know, but the grill is so mangled. It's better than baling wire, which is how it was when I got the tractor. So it's got tie wraps on it. And I did kind of re-weld up the bottom. The bottom was broken out. And uh, I did that last time I put it back together. So we are back together. Hood's on, 
Um, all we need to do now is um, I got to tighten the top radiator hose. I need to go back out in the barn and grab the um, coolant uh, or the plug. Would have been easier to do when the hood was off, but I can do it. Uh, I took it off with the hood uh, on so I can put it back. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this down as well. We're, we're leaking right here. Uh, we're leaking there too, but um, we can stop some of the leak by tightening here. Got to put this on and uh, then we'll be done. And of course, I don't remember, know if I said it, but put cool in it and go back with antifreeze. Well, I got it moved back into the shade because it was getting hot and let it run for a little bit and let it warm up and topped off the coolant and looked and we don't have any leaks. Water pump seems to be doing well. It's got no slop in it or anything. So I think we are in good shape. So, thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. Hit the like button and subscribe for more.